The current American program to return to the moon, it's called Artemis, has three planned missions. The first was an uncrewed mission to the moon. It went to the moon and came back, splashed down in the, in the ocean, good. Second is a crewed mission to the moon, but not land yet. Third would be a crewed mission to the moon where you land, right? Incremental steps, just as Apollo had unfolded. That's one of the reasons why there were many Apollo missions. Each one was incrementally more ambitious than the previous one. So this is how space works. If you want to stay safe in the process, especially when it involves people, crew, astronauts, and uh, yeah, look forward to seeing what comes of that. Good luck, SpaceX. Godspeed to you. These gentlemen are discussing how you don't leap to the finish line in space flight. You build up to it. That's not caution for its own sake. It's respect for the reality that rockets, crews, and the environments they traverse are governed by physics that do not care about our schedules. When you see a program staged in steps, first without people, then with people, but no landing, then a landing, that's not bureaucracy. It's an evidence ladder. Each rung answers a question you can't answer from a conference room or a computer model. Consider how we learned this the hard way. Early in the Apollo era, a cabin fire on the pad forced a complete rethinking of materials, wiring, and procedures. Later, a mission looped around